it requires a communication channel to connect these various chips so that they can send signals from one chip to another chip and that communication channel is called as the onboard communication interface external communication comes into picture when your embedded system wants to interact with the uh, external device okay it wants to interact with the external device and uh, external communication interface it can be of two types first is the wired communication interface and second is the wireless communication interface now uh, see the first i will give you the examples of the on board communication interface on board means it is on the board as it names is suggesting it is on the board buses and the communication channel is on the board so examples of the on board communication interfaces are i square c spi ur one uh, sorry and uh, your uh, one wire parallel interface these are the examples of your on board communication interfaces uh, and uh, if you want to uh, connect the external interface if external device wants to communicate with your embedded board then there are two types of communication interfaces wired uh, wired uh, external communication interface and wireless external communication interface in the wireless communication uh, interface Wi-Fi, infrared, uh, Bluetooth, then GPRS and radio frequency waves. These are the examples of the wireless external communication interfaces. Whereas uh, for a wired external communication interface, we have RS two thirty two C. Then we have uh, your USB. USB is also example of the external communication interface. Okay. Now uh, we will get started towards the inter-integrated circuit bus. You can see the diagram. This is the I square C bus interface. Okay. Now uh, this inter-integrated uh, interface bus is uh, two wires synchronous, bidirectional. How duplex communication interface? How duplex means uh, at a time only uh, one device can communicate. That is a half duplex. Only one directional communication at a time. Transmitter or receiver means this master device can act as a 
takes place. Okay, initially this master device uh, pulls the SCL line to logic high. SCL line is pulled logic high and uh, then it, uh, master device pulls SCL line to logic low. Now what is the situation? SCL line is at logic high and SCL line is at logic low. So this is the condition uh, for start of communication. SCL line is low and SCL line is at logic high. They are pulled accordingly and this is the condition for start of communication. And after the, that, uh, you know, like this master device sends the address of the slave device to which it wants to communicate over this SCL line. Okay. Now, uh, slave device uh, compares the address assigned to it with the address which is present on the SCL line. And if the address matches, the slave device understands that master device wants to communicate with it. Okay. Now, SCL uh, uh, generates a clock pulses for synchronization between master and slave device. And MSV of the data is always transmitted first. And during the high of the clock pulse, the data is transmitted. Okay. Now, uh, you can see that uh, here, uh, after uh, detection uh, of this uh, address, means after it identifies that master device wants to communicate, then uh, master device waits for acknowledgement bit from the slave device. Okay, now, uh, then the slave device sends the acknowledgement bit to master device and uh, before sending the acknowledgement bit, the master device sends a read or a write control signals to the slave device. If a write operation is to be performed, it sends zero before receiving the acknowledgement bit from the slave device. And if the uh, read operation is to be performed, it sends one. If read operation is to be performed before receiving of acknowledgement signal, control signal is sent by master device. And upon receiving the acknowledgement bit from the slave device, master device sends data over SDA line to the slave device to which it wants to communicate. Okay? And after receiving uh, of the data, again, the uh, master, slave device sends the acknowledgement bit to master device because this is the case where of uh, writing the data to slave device of write operation. In the write operation, slave device sends the acknowledgement bit to master device. In the case of read operation, what is happening? In the case of read operation, uh, slave device sends the data over SD line to master device and then master device sends the acknowledgement bit to slave device in case of the read operation. So in this way, read and write operation are performed in this uh, case and there is a communication between the master device and the slave device via I square C bus. Okay. Now, uh, next part is uh, how do we terminate the communication? After the communication is over, this SDL line which was pulled low during start of communication is pulled to high state. Is pulled to high state. Now, what is the condition? SCL is at logic high and SDL is at logic high. So, when both of them are at logic high, this is the condition for the stop of communication. This condition indicates communication stop. And now uh, there are various types of data rates through which I2C device can operate. Now I2C de uh, device can operate at a data rate of a, uh, 100 kbps. This is called as a standard mode. It can also operate at a rate of a 400 kbps. This is called as a fast mode. And uh, then it can also operate uh, at a 3.4 mbps. In Initial generations of the I2C devices were operating at the 100 kbps, but now the latest generation of the I2C operates at the 3.4 mbps. Mbps means megabits per second. So very high speed. You can see that latest generation I2C device operated at a very high speed. Okay. Now uh, in this case, what is happening? Master is sending data frame, and uh, sometimes in during read operation, slave is sending data frame. It is very important that we know the structure of the data frame which is sent along the SD line. So we will see the structure of the data frame. You can see this diagram fits in the data frame from the master. First field is of a one bit and it is the start bit. It indicates 
Yes, <laughs> 